But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Airport CEO episode number 2 of season 5 already of this game I'm glad to be back and I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode Like I said, this I'm basically recording all these episodes uh, quite a few after after another um, because I sometimes have time to record and I want to have a big bunch of videos ready for you guys when I start a new series because I don't want to start up a series and basically leave you guys alone when I don't have the time to record anymore. So it's going to be a little bit different than before but please you know, leave your comments, leave your feedback. I'm going to try and keep everything inside the series. Uh, so if you guys want your name as an air in the aircraft stands or whatever, if you have any cool ideas, then please make sure to mention them. I will at least react to them in the comments and I will try... Oh, the lights just went on. Uh, easily distracted me, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I will try to react in the comments. Well, actually, I do react on every comment, uh, basically. Uh, and I will try to implement them in the series, of course, when I can. Because I really want this game to be still... This series to be still interactive with you guys. Because that's the cool part about this game. We can sort of interact with each other and then change things in the airport in the later episodes. Uh, the only thing is, you probably have to wait a little bit longer than normal to uh, to actually get it implemented. But I will definitely try and do that. Last episode, what we did was we did basically start off a quick airport um, with the sort of the entrance over here. It's going to become an entrance because we don't have the building yet. Uh, we put a lot of general aviation in. We put some uh, we put some stuff in for the actual uh, actual. Um, fuel uh, depot and everything so that we can start refueling our uh, general aviation and hopefully make money because we basically we aren't really making a lot of money we have some emails we have to delete though um, but yeah what we do have to do now is we have to go to economy and go to contracts because we have some fuel contracts which you need to accept that's the last part and then we can start re uh, refueling our general aviation which will probably make us a bit of money at that point and then we can use that to uh, start making our terminal and make sure that we have enough uh, spots for actual commercial flights. Because that's, of course, the aim of this series, to get to a commercial flight, to commercial airport, and hopefully get big and, and cool and nice and everything. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm using mods, so these names might be familiar, they might not be familiar. Uh, but they're basically not the ones that are in the game. They're a mix of European and... US uh, names, uh, which is pretty funny because we're now uh, in Africa with this airport, so I probably should have picked the US or Europe for this. But then again, it's pretty cool. Uh, and now we're going to take a look at the uh, the oil companies. We have Menzies Aviation, Rubis, Nature Fuel, Harvest Aviation, and Stat Oil. You know, I don't really care. I'm going to go over Menzies just because it sounds fun. <laughs> Menzies. Signed. Okay. So we have our building company, we have our uh, fuel company. Um, they, they're gonna go come and refuel, if I'm correct. Let's go, we're still at free speed. Yeah, so we're, do, we're doing fine. Um, could you, what are you doing? Are you stuck? What are you doing? Sell vehicle. Oh, do, don't you, oh, you guys were waiting on the fuel depot to be filled. Oh, wow. And you start, and you're just waiting over there. Wow, that that's really not handy. But another cool thing I saw, and that's something I haven't seen before. We can sell vehicles from over here, which is cool. I don't know if if it was in the game, it might be. I, I'm not really a fan of using the vehicles that much here. But we also have the open vehicle management panel. What happens? Oh, we just go over here. Okay. Assigned to a lot. Assign this vehicle to a specific parking lot. Assigned to depot. Okay, you're gonna be. Assigned to this depot. Uh, because we only have one, but still. Oh, we can set colors. We can make you blue. Cool. Can we... Why can't we move? I said blue. Can we... It doesn't work. Color presets. We don't have any color presets. Oh, now we have. Okay, I want to do a like a really... Uh, sort of a this this kind of blue. We're gonna save that. We're gonna and we're gonna also use yellow. Can we please go? Okay, all our presets. It's a yellow. I use this kind of yellow. And what else? What else are we gonna use? We're gonna use black probably. We're gonna probably use white. 
Okay, and this this truck is gonna be. We're gonna make these trucks yellow. Yeah. Cool. Um, can we? Me. Oh, they're entirely yellow now. Can we? Can we check them? Can we? Okay. And if we set this to yellow, and then cancel out. Does this happen? Does this change things? I don't. It's not yellow to me. I don't know if if that's the case, but we go back to here. It's not saying that it's yellow. Can we move this? Do we have to sort of accept this at some point? I don't know. Set color maybe? No, if we just if we click it, if we click this and then click set color it just goes back. I don't know why. We don't have to double click it. Left click apply color. Yeah, well I have clicked left. I don't know if you hear me clicking, but I'm clicking a lot. It's not doing anything. Well, Sure, uh, let's leave it like that. This is fine. So what we can do now is the last thing we have to do is just enable this. And now we can make some money, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Hopefully we will start making some money because we need the money. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some basic building. Uh, so basically, let's start off with... Well, I don't know. Let's do this and we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, no, 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 wait. This was bad. This, this was really bad. We have to remove this. Well, actually, what we could do... That's maybe a little bit more fun. Uh, can we... Where is... Uh, do we have to get rid of the foundation? or? Oh, there. Terminal bulldozer. Yeah. That's the one. So we want to go into the middle, probably, somewhere. Um, so what we do is we get rid of this area... I guess. And this area? Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we, we need a sidewalk now. That doesn't work. We need a sidewalk over here. That looks quite disturbingly the same as this. Uh, okay, this is not gonna work. I just built it too close to. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Bear with me, guys. It's just, it's been a while. Uh, so we're gonna, well, we're gonna really get rid of all of this. The entire building is gonna go away. We have the, uh, the site walk over here now. Let's put in some more site walk over here. Should we put in that much site walk? I don't think so. Actually, I don't think that we need that big of a site walk here. I do, I do think that this should be enough. So people get out of the bus or get out of the car, they walk over here, they walk over here, 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 and then this is the entrance. I think that that is going to be cool. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do here is we're going to place a terminal building over here and over here and over here. And yeah, we have to remove, whoops, and over here. We have to remove some walls, I know. That's fine. Removing walls is not a bad thing in this game. Oh, whoops, we have to drag, click and drag to this. And this immediately gives us a bit of an, a different shape, which I like, because now it's not that easy to just, you know, get in and use this. Um, this could be the exit, which is nice. I think that this is going to be the exit and this is going to be entrance. And then we have sort of an entrance area over here. We have check-in desks over here. And then use this. And this is going to be sort of the exit place where we have the garbage... Oh, the garbage... <laughs> the baggage carousel and everything going. I think that this that's going to be how it works. So, we're going to go in here and we're going to go for medium-sized doors or large-sized doors. A large window. Oh, these are windows. Oh, never mind. We need doors. I want to go have... Big door. Okay, this is an uneven one. We're not gonna use that. Uh, we're gonna have like a door over here and a door over here. That's cool. Uh, and we're gonna have like the smaller ones over here and here. This is the exit, so we have to sort of block this off a little bit so that I know that wall might be demolished, but it's just so that I know uh, where it's gonna be later on. We're making money, so let's just keep playing. Oh, no, we're not making money. Yeah, okay, because we build a huge ass, you know, building area. It's also just let, let, let the game play so we can get to the light part of the day. Um, but yeah, 
We could use some windows. Maybe maybe we use some windows. Maybe we just put like a window. Okay, that's a big window. Never mind. Do we have a smaller smaller size window? Ah. We, okay, we could put a window like right here. That looks that looks okay. Yeah, sure. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So let's get the walls and let's sort of start laying this this stuff in. So that we have a general idea of where things go. So this is going to be sort of the exit. Uh, we're going to have like a small hallway over here. Maybe have some toilets over here. So that the people can sort of, you know, do their business when they need to. Um, so yeah, if we do this. Or maybe have a small staff room. That could be another thing. A small staff room over here. So that they can change from um, the exit place to the, to the entrance place. That would be a good thing, I guess. Have a door, have a door. So we have that then. Um, so this is going to be the sort of the entrance area where we have information, uh, an information booth and stuff like that. This is probably where we're going to have the um, the uh, what you call it, the uh, the check-in desks, and then we have some some baggage stuff over here probably. How are we doing here? What 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 does that mean? Oh, that's that's because of I selected the wall. Okay. Um, yeah, we can have that over here, then have probably them pass through security up here somewhere. And then have like a huge like shopping mall area maybe over here where people can just shop even if they come back. And then we have the exits over here. I think that that's a good idea. But then we have to go like... Okay, let's, let's block this off for now. This is going to be the exit. And basically what we have is we have an exit over here. Uh, and then have a baggage carousel over here, one over here, one over here. Probably that's how we're going to work with this. Uh, and we probably have to expand this at some point. But for now, it's, it's big enough. Uh, and we have to have doors, of course. Well, actually, what we could do is we can just delete uh, like uh, an area over here. I think that's big enough for an exit. I'm not sure. That's security. Secure area exit. Yeah, I think that that is good enough. Oh, it must be placed in the secure zone. Of course, it must be placed in the secure zone. So this is going to be our secure zone for now. It's not an, It's not even secure, but that doesn't matter. What? Can we... Oh, really? We have to... Okay, we have to really get this part in too. Okay, well, that's fine. So we have the secure area exit. People will exit over here and then they get into the baggage carousel and everything. It's daytime, by the way, so we don't need the light anymore. It's not that busy at our airport. Uh, a service re re vehicle can't reach our designated job site. Make sure it's accessible via roads. It is accessible via roads. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, oh, I'm a complete moron. Oh, my God. Probably you guys have been screaming to me at the, in the last episode. Connect up the way. Oh. What we'll do is we'll do this. That's way easier than connecting it down here because we have put the buildings in the way. But now they can actually reach wherever they need to go, and that should be fine. And I think that two vehicles for now is good enough. Although I don't know why they don't become yellow. I wanted them to be yellow. It's sort of a weird thing here. It doesn't set it to be yellow. But yeah, I don't know why. If you guys know, then leave a comment. Um, so we have the exit area over here, which is important to sort of plan ahead. Because this is basically... This is, this is the thing I always forgot. Uh, that we had to have an exit. And then basically your frames become shit. Because no passengers will exit your, uh, your airport. Which is very, very annoying. Uh, but yeah, we have the exit area. We have like a small staff area where... Uh, staff can can take a break, but also can change between the area, the exit area, and the entrance area. Basically, uh, what we can do here is is put in a small like maybe put in a, like an entrance area over here. Maybe we can wall this off over here, and then what we could do is make a door like over. Where are we going to put the door? Here. Yeah, we're going to put a door over there. And then have... We're going to have another small area for staff. Over here. Open an entrance. Two entrances. This is probably going to be the office place. And then we're going to have like a... Uh, an information booth. Yeah, let's have an information booth right there. Desks. Is it over here? 
information desk, small size. Oh, I like the medium size. That that looks cool. That looks pretty darn cool. Okay, we're gonna place this over here and over here. So we have that now. So staff, we're gonna have a staff zone. So this, the, uh, all this is staff zone. No people allowed. And uh, <laughs> the more staff zone and more staff zone. Cool. So that that's basically what we have right now. Now, of course, we need people there, but that's you know, that's basically at least one airport staff complete. Yeah, we're gonna wait with that. We don't need that right now because we don't have any passengers coming through here. Uh, that's gonna be a thing later on. As we, you can see, we are making money actually, so that's fine because whilst I'm building, I'm probably gonna deplete the money pool as is, but at least we're making some money right now. Uh, but yeah, we have the information booth, so this is gonna be a staff room. Um, so we're gonna go back. This is gonna be a staff room. And this is also gonna be a staff room. And this is gonna be sort of an office area. This is gonna be from the main staff. Uh, basically clear all types. And what we're gonna do is you, 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 you. Uh, you are all in here. And clear all types. And these are for these guys. Uh, so yeah, we have that. We're gonna make a, a small office, probably. Do I want to make an office? Probably not. Probably I just want to make the layout of the, of the of this stuff, right? Yeah. Probably that can wait. So what we'll do? So we'll make a wall over here for now. That wall is gonna get rid. We're gonna get rid of that wall, of course. Um. Yeah. The only thing is, this staff can get into the secure zone over here because of this one. Maybe we should delete that door and make it a wall. I think we should delete that and just make it into a wall. So they can't get into the uh, the secure zone, which is going to be all of this. And everything beyond it, of course. What's that little white thing again? It's, it's sort of a slap of snow or whatever. I can't... Okay, let's, let's ignore the weather stuff. Um, so yeah, we have so uh, like a staff room over here, a staff room over here. This is going to be the offices. Um... You know what? I don't really like this look. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete these two. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the like uh, probably one spot forward. That looks a little bit better. And then we're gonna go to staff and make a staff zone over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wall this area off again. And we're gonna put in a new door. Right about what's the middle point? I think like let's go for here. Not even sure if it's the middle point. We can measure it out, by the way. We can go like this, like 80 and 70. There is not really a middle point for a four door, uh, for a four space door, but that's fine. This this looks good enough. Good enough. Good enough for me. Now we have that area. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay in the flooring straight away because. Uh, well, basically, it helps to sort of plan stuff out and, and remember stuff. So if I can find the floors. Uh, do we, did it add new floors? I don't think so. That's a shame. Okay, we're going to use the light wooden floor for areas, stuff, basically, for, for staff areas. So we're going to use it for that one and for that one. And then we're going to have the entrance. The, well, basically, the entrance doesn't need to be different than the rest, right? So what we'll do is... I'm gonna make a nice blue airfield. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna. Whoa, where did where did our screen go? Uh, we're gonna make everything blue for now, and we're gonna of course change that up. Uh, I know we did blue in the last one. I know, I know, but you know, I love blue. I love the color blue, and it looks it looks quite nice. I think that the. The thing is, I want more of these types of flooring, but then in different colors, because basically you only have the blue uh, right now and the purple, which is sort of the, the sort of the same. Uh, but I I don't really like that color. Um, but yeah, we can use it. But of course, uh, you know, this is gonna be uh, a little bit different for now. Uh, maybe we should actually add this part to the uh, to the actual staff zone. Uh, now we have to sort of change this so that people won't be able to really walk in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some plans I guess because plans are cool in this game I use a lot of plans it's basically a hatch <laughs> why would we build a hatch 
How does this look though? Haha! <laughs> it looks kinda cool. Um I'm not convinced, but you know. Looks kinda cool. But yeah, I want I want some plants. Uh basically I want big plants. Uh, what's this? Christmas tree? No. I want big plants in here. And uh, and yeah, we're gonna whoops. We're gonna could we move you? Oh wow, that's just new. Relocate. I want to click relocate. Can I click relocate? No. Activate or deactivate? I'm going to deactivate the plant. It doesn't work. Request maintenance for the plant. Uh, this, this is just weird. Uh, <laughs> we could change the color though, which is cool. Um, maybe we can do that. Uh, we will check that out. Uh, so if we do this and then do this and change color. Oh, we can! We can change the color of the of the sort of the surrounding. Okay, well, cool. Uh, we don't need to do that though. That's totally fine. Um, maybe we should do that on the freaking trucks to make it work. Can we select the truck? Nope. That's annoying. Well, we will try. We will try that later, of course. Uh, but yeah. So this is uh, this is gonna be the, first, the the second video actually the second episode done. Uh, like I said, it's gonna take some time to actually get. Oh, we have a lot of people here waiting. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna take some time to uh, to make sure that um, this is gonna get up and running. But I want to take you guys on the journey. I want to make sure that you guys see what we're doing and sort of can relive this journey uh, as we play it and uh, enjoy everything and also you know you guys can think with me about what we should do and what we should change and whatever so leave your comments about that and if you enjoyed this video then leave a like and or a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because it really helps your channel to grow and you don't miss out on a single episode of airport ceo and it sort of guarantees that you will see more airport ceo in the future on this channel and, of course, you can see lots of more series on the channel, which are very cool. And also, if you want to, then make sure to join the Discord if you have any questions about the game or the mods I'm using. The link is down in the description. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. And I hope you guys that enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. As always, I've been Hippo, and you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome, and thanks for watching.